Emperor Gaj, commonly known by his temple name Gaj, personal name Lu Bang, courtesy name Ji, was the founder and first emperor of the Han Dynasty. He ruled China from 202-195 BC. Gaj was one of the few dynasty founders in Chinese history originating from the peasant class. During his reign, Liu Bang reduced taxes and corvée, promoted Confucianism, and suppressed revolts by the rulers of some vassal states, among other things. He also initiated the policy of Hekan to maintain peace between the Han Empire and the Xiongnu after he lost to the Xiongnu at the Battle of Badenge. In 200 BC, Liu Bang died in 195 BC and was succeeded by his son, Liu Ying. Before coming to power, Liu Bang initially served as a minor patrol officer in his hometown, Pei County from what had been the Chu, then occupied by the Qin dynasty. With its disintegration Liu Bang would go on to engage the rebel leader Xiang Yu in a power struggle termed the Chu Han contention for supremacy over China, while concurrently invading and subjugating the other kingdoms. During the fall of the preceding Qin dynasty in 2006 BC, Xiang Yu, the de facto chief of the rebel forces, divided the former Qin Empire into the 18 kingdoms. Xiang declared himself the king of Western Chu and appointed 17 former rebel leaders, including Liu Bang, as the rulers of the other kingdoms. Liu Bang became the King of Han and was given a domain in the remote Bashu region. Later that year, Liu Bang led his forces out of Bashu and attacked and conquered the three Qins, three of the 18 kingdoms which were nearest to his domain. In 202 BC, the war concluded with victory for Liu Bang, who succeeded in unifying most of China under his control. Liu Bang established the Han Dynasty and was proclaimed emperor that year. Birth and early life In imperial Han myth Liu Bang was a descendant of the mythical emperor Yao, who descended from the Yellow Emperor. Many Chinese noble families claimed descent from the Yellow Emperor. Liu Bang was born in a peasant family in Zhongyang village, Feng Town, Pei County, which is in present-day Feng County, Zhuzhou, Jiangsu. His parents' names were not recorded in history and they were simply referred to as Lu Taigong and Lu Ao. In legend, before Lu Bang's birth, his mother was caught in a rainstorm and took shelter under a bridge. Just then, there was lightning and thunder and the sky darkened. Liu Bang's father went to fetch his wife home and saw a dragon hovering above her. She became pregnant and gave birth to Liu Bang later. The young Liu Bang was outspoken, charismatic, and of great forbearance and tolerance. However, he enjoyed loafing, disliked reading, and showed no interest in farming, hence his father often called him a little rascal. Liu Bang persisted in his idling ways and depended on his brother's family for food and lodging. When he grew older, he was appointed as a low-ranking patrol officer, forged close relationships with the local county bureaucrats and earned himself a small reputation in his hometown. One day, Liu Wen, a respectable man who had recently moved to Pei County, was visited by the elites in town. Cio He, who was in charge of helping Liu Wen collect gifts from the visitors, announced, Those who do not offer more than 1,000 coins worth of gifts shall be seated outside the hall. Liu Bang went there without bringing any money and said, I offer 10,000 coins. Liu Wen saw Liu Bang and was so impressed with him on first sight that he immediately stood up and welcomed Liu into the hall to sit beside him. Cio He told Liu Wen that Liu Bang was not serious, but Liu ignored him and chatted with Liu. Liu Wen said, I used to predict fortunes for many people but I have never seen someone so exceptional like you before. He then offered his daughter Liu Ji's hand in marriage to Liu Bang and they were wed. Liu Ji bore Liu Bang a son and a daughter. Insurrection against the Qin Dynasty Liu Bang was tasked with escorting a group of convicts to Mount Li to build Qin Shi Wang's mausoleum. He eventually released the remaining prisoners and became a fugitive. Some of the convicts he released joined him of their own accord. In legend, they encountered a gigantic white serpent which killed some people with its poisonous breath.
Liu Bang slew the serpent that night and encountered an old woman weeping by the road the next morning. When Liu Bang's men asked her why she was crying, she replied, My child, the White Empress' son, has been slain by the son of the Red Emperor. She then disappeared mysteriously. After hearing the old woman's strange words, Liu Bang's followers believed that Liu was destined to become a ruler in the future and became more impressed with him. This event is known as the Uprising of the Slaying of the White Serpent. Liu Bang and his followers took refuge on Mount Mangdang and lived as outlaws in a stronghold there. Liu Bang still maintained secret contact with his old friends such as Xiao He and Cao Shen in Pei County. In 2009 BC, Chen Sheng and Wu Guang started the Days Zhang uprising to overthrow the Qin dynasty. The magistrate of Pei County considered joining the rebellion as well, so, acting on the advice of Xiao He and Cao Shen, he sent Fan Kui to invite Liu and his followers back to Pei County to support him. However, he changed his mind later and denied Liu Bang entry into the county. He was worried that Xiao He and Cao Shen might open the gates for Liu Bang so he intended to kill them, but Xiao and Cao escaped and joined Liu. Liu Bang followed Xiao He's suggestion and ordered his men to write letters, wrap them around arrows, and fire the arrows into the county. In the letters, he urged the townsfolk to help him. They responded to his call by killing the magistrate and welcoming him back into Pei County. Liu Bang styled himself the Duke of Pei and became known to others by this title. In 208 BC, during the reign of Qin Shi, the descendants of the royal families of the former Yan, Zhao, Qi and Wei states rebelled against the Qin Empire in the name of restoring their states, which were conquered by Qin in a series of wars about two decades ago. In Wu, Xiang Liang started an uprising as well and installed Zhong Xin as King Huai II on the throne of the former Chu state. Liu Bang joined Xiang Liang and served in Chu for some time. After Xiang Liang was killed in action at the Battle of Dingtao, King Huai II sent Xiang Liang's nephew Xiang Yu and Song Yi to lead an army to reinforce the Zhao state, which was under attack by Qin forces. Liu Bang was granted the title Marquis of Wuan by the king and tasked with leading an army to attack Qin. The king promised that whoever entered Guangzhou first would receive the title King of Guangzhou. In 2006 BC, Liu Bang beat Xiang Yu in the race to Guangzhou and arrived in Zhanyang, the Qin capital. Xiang, the last Qin emperor, surrendered to Liu Bang and ended the Qin dynasty. Liu Bang issued strict orders to his men, forbidding them from killing innocent civilians and pillaging the cities they conquered. Peace and stability were temporarily restored in Zhanyang while Liu Bang's forces were stationed there. Chu Han contention. Feast at Hongate Xiang Yu was dissatisfied that Liu Bang had beat to him in the race to Guangzhou so he set a trap to kill Liu after being instigated by his advisor Fan Zheng and Cao Wu Shang, a defector from Liu's side. In 206 BC, he pretended to invite Liu Bang to a banquet while secretly planning to assassinate Liu during the banquet. Xiang Yu's uncle, Xiang Bo, who was a close friend of Liu Bang's strategist Zhang Liang, managed to persuade his nephew to spare Liu's life. Fan Zheng then ordered Xiang Yu's cousin Xiang Zhuang to pretend to perform a sword dance and use the opportunity to kill Liu Bang. But Xiang Bo pretended to join the dance and blocked Xiang Zhuang every time he thrust his sword towards Liu. Liu Bang pretended to go to the latrine and used the chance to escape. He and his forces then evacuated from Zhanyang and retreated west. Xiang Yu led his forces into Zhanyang, where they plundered and pillaged the city and burnt down the Epang Palace. Conquest of the Three Qin After occupying Zhanyang, Xiang Yu proclaimed himself Hegemon King of Western Chu and split the former Qin Empire into the 18 kingdoms. 
the Guangzhou area, which was rightfully Liu Bang's Peking Huai II's earlier promised was given by Xiang Yu to three former Qin generals instead. Liu Bang was relocated to Hanzhong in the remote Bashu region and received the title King of Han. When a rebellion broke out in the Qi Kingdom in late 2006 BC, Xiang Yu left Western Chu to suppress the revolt. Liu Bang used the opportunity to invade and conquer Guangzhou and then attack several Chu territories, including the capital Pengcheng. Battle of Gaixia from 206-202 BC. Liu Bang engaged Chiang Yu in a power struggle, historically known as the Chu Han contention, for supremacy over China, while simultaneously attacking and subjugating the other kingdoms. In 2003 BC, Xiang Yu and Liu Bang came to an armistice, known as the Treaty of Hong Canal, which divided China into east and west along the Hong Canal under the Chu and Han regimes respectively. A few months later, Liu Bang renounced the treaty and attacked Xiang Yu again. In 2002 BC, Xiang Yu lost to Liu Bang at the Battle of Gaixia and committed suicide, after which Chu surrendered to Han. Liu Bang had unified much of China under his control by then. Establishment of the Han Dynasty in 2002 BC, Liu Bang was enthroned as the emperor with support from his subjects even though he expressed a reluctance to take the throne. He named his dynasty, Han, and was historically known as Emperor Gaoj. He established the capital in Luoyang and instated his official spouse Lu Ji as the empress and their son Lu Ying as the crown prince. The following year, Emperor Gaoj wanted to reward his subjects who had contributed to the founding of the Han Empire, but the process dragged on for a year because they could not agree on the distribution of the rewards. The emperor felt that Cao He's contributions were the greatest so he awarded Cao the title Marquis of Zan and gave him the largest amount of food, stores. Some of the others expressed objections because they felt that Co he was not directly involved in battle so his contributions should not be considered the greatest. Emperor Gaj replied that Co he should receive the highest credit because he planned their overall strategy in the war against Xiang Yu. He named Cao Shen as the person who made the greatest contributions in battle and rewarded him and the others accordingly. Rain, reducing taxes and corvée Emperor Gage disbanded his armies and allowed the soldiers to return home. He gave an order stating that the people who remained in Guangzhou were exempted from taxes and corvée for 12 years while those who returned to their respective native territories were exempted for six years and that the central government would provide for them for a year. He also granted freedom to those who had sold themselves into slavery to avoid hunger during the wars. In 195 BC, the emperor issued two decrees. The first officialized the lowering of taxes and corvée. The second set the amount of tribute to be paid by the vassal kings to the imperial court in the tenth month of every year. The land tax on agricultural production was reduced to a rate of one-fifteenth of crop yield. He also privatized the coinage. Emphasis on Confucianism In his early days, Emperor Gaj disliked reading and scorned Confucianism. After becoming the emperor, he still held the same attitudes towards Confucianism as he did before until he encountered the scholar Lu Jia. Lu Gu wrote a 12-volume book, Xin Yu, which espoused the benefits of governing by moral virtue as opposed to using harsh and punitive laws. Lugu read each volume to the emperor after he finished writing it. The emperor was deeply impressed. Under Emperor Gaozhu's reign, Confucianism flourished and gradually replaced legalism as the state ideology. Confucian scholars, including Lugu, were recruited to serve in the government. The emperor also reformed the legal system by relaxing some laws inherited from the Qin regime and reducing the severity of certain penalties. In 196 BC, after suppressing a rebellion by Ying Bu, he passed by Shandong, the birthplace of Confucius, and personally prepared for a ceremony to pay respect to the philosopher. 
dispute over the succession in his later years, Emperor Gaoge favoured concubine Qi and neglected Empress Lu Ji. He felt that Lu Ying, his heir apparent, was too weak to be a ruler. Thus, he had the intention of replacing Lu Ying with another son, Lu Ruyi, who was born to concubine Qi. Lu Ji became worried so she asked Zhang Liang to help her son maintain his position. Zhang Liang recommended four reclusive wise men, the Four House of Mount Shang, to help Lu Ying. In 195 BC, as Emperor Gao Zhu's health started to worsen, he desired even more to replace Lu Ying with Lu Ruyi as the crown prince. Zhang Liang tried to dissuade him but was ignored, so he retired on the excuse that he was ill. Xu Tong and Zhou Chang also strongly objected to the emperor's decision to replace Lu Ying with Lu Ruyi. Zhou Chang said, I am not good in arguing, but I know this is not right. If your majesty deposes the crown prince, I won't follow your orders anymore. Zhou Chang was outspoken but he had a stuttering problem, which made his speech very amusing. The emperor laughed. After that, the four house of Mount Shang showed up in the court. Emperor Gaoge was surprised to see them because they had previously declined to join the civil service when he invited them. The four men promised to help Lu Ying in the future if he were to remain as the crown prince. The emperor was pleased to see that Lu Ying had their support so he dismissed the idea of changing his heir apparent. Military campaigns after establishing the Han dynasty Emperor Gaoge appointed princes and vassal kings to help him govern the Han Empire and gave each of them a piece of land. There were seven vassal kings who were not related to the imperial clan. Zhang Tu, the king of Yan, Han Xin, the king of Han, Han Xin, the king of Chu, Peng Yu, the king of Liang, Ying Bu, the king of Wainan, Zhang Er, the king of Zhao, Wu Rui, the king of Changsha. However, later, the emperor became worried that the vassal kings might rebel against him because they after all had no blood relations with him. Han Xin and Peng Yu were accused of treason, arrested and executed along with their families. Ying Bu and Zhang Tu rebelled against him but were defeated and killed. Only Wu Rui and Zhang Er were left. The Zhong Yu in the north had been a threat since the Qin dynasty. Qin Shi Huang had sent the general Meng Tian to oversee the defenses on the Qin Empire's northern border and the construction of the Great Wall to repel the invaders. Meng Tian achieved success in deterring the Zhong Yu from advancing beyond the border. However, after the Qin dynasty collapsed, the Zhong Yu seized the opportunity to move south and raid the border again. In 2001 BC, Han Xin defected to the Zhong Yu leader, Modu. In the following year, Emperor Gaoge led an army to attack the Zhong Yu but was besieged and trapped by the enemy at the Battle of Badenj. Acting on Chen Ping's advice, he bribed Ma Ji's wife with gifts and got her to ask her husband to withdraw his forces. Mo Du did so. After returning to the capital, Emperor Gaoge initiated the policy of Hekan, which involved sending noble ladies to marry the Zhong Yu leaders and paying annual tribute to the Zhong Yu in exchange for peace between the Han Empire and the Zhong Yu. Death Emperor Gaoge was wounded by a stray arrow during the campaign against Ying Bu. He became seriously ill and remained in his inner chambers for a long period of time and ordered his guards to deny entry to everyone who tried to visit him. After several days, Fan Kui barged into the chambers to see the emperor and the other subjects followed behind him. They saw Emperor Gaoge lying on his bed and attended to by a eunuch. Fan Kui said, How glorious it was when your majesty first led us to conquer the empire and how weary we are now. Your subjects are worried when they learn that your majesty is ill, but your majesty refuses to see us and prefers the company of a eunuch instead. Has your majesty forgotten the incident about Zhao Gao? The emperor laughed and got out of bed to meet his subjects. Emperor Gao Zhu's health deteriorated later so Empress Lu Ji hired a famous physician to heal him. When Emperor Gao Zhu inquired about his condition, the physician told him that his illness could be cured. 
but the emperor was displeased and he scolded the physician. Isn't it heaven's will that I managed to conquer this empire in simple clothing and with nothing but a sword? My life is determined by heaven. It is useless even if Bayern K is here. He refused to continue with the treatment and sent the physician away. Before his death, he said that Cao Shen could succeed Cao He is the chancellor after Cao died, and that Wang Ling could succeed Cao Shen. He also said that Wang Ling might be too young to perform his duties so Chen Ping could assist Wang. But Shen was also qualified to assume the responsibilities of a chancellor all by himself. He also named Zhou Bo as a possible candidate for the role of Grand Commandant. He died in Changle Palace on 1 June 195 BC and was succeeded by Lu Ying, who became historically known as Emperor Hui. Song of the Great Wind the Song of the Great Wind was a song composed by Liu Bang in 195 BC when he visited his hometown in Pei County after suppressing Ying Bu's rebellion. He prepared a banquet and invited all his old friends and townsfolk to join him. After some drinks, Liu Bang played the Gukan and sang the Song of the Great Wind. Family and Descendants Parents Liu Taigong Luao Siblings Lubo, Duke of Huai, Lu Shi, Prince of Dai, Lu Zhao, Prince of Chu, Spouse, Empress Lu Ji, Bo Lu Ying and Princess Lu, Major Concubines, Consort Zhang, Consort Wei, Consort Cao, Bo Lu Fei, Consort Qi, Bo Lu Ruyi, Consort Wan, Consort Guan, Consort Bo, Bo Lu Heng, Consort Zhao, Bo Lu Chang, Consort Zhao Zia, Children, Lu Fei, Prince Douyi of Qi, Lu Ying, Crown Prince, later Emperor Hui, Lu Jian, Prince Ling of Yan, Lu Ruyi, Prince Yin of Zhao, Lu Heng, Prince of Dai, later Emperor Wen, Lu Hui, Prince of Liang, later Prince Gong of Zhao, Lu Yu, Prince of Wai Yang, later Prince Yu of Zhao, Lu Chang, Prince Li of Wainan, Princess Yuan of Lu.